Sports Cavalcade. One weekend a year for the past 20 years, the National Hot Rod Association has been bringing Winston Championship drag racing to Canada, to the province of Quebec, to San Air International Drag Strip outside of Montreal. And even though the U.S. border is only one hour away, the architecture, the food, the language, the flags flying give this event the international flavor it truly deserves. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Evans and welcome to a windy and weather-threatened Lake Grand National Molson. Now over the 20 years, Don the Snake Perdome has been particularly popular with this crowd and not just because of his French surname. He's also been the winningest pro driver with seven funny car titles. Now this year, everyone looking forward to seeing Don's brand new top fuel dragster. They saw it yesterday in qualifying. From angles no one could have anticipated. Don Perdon in an absolutely terrifying over backwards, over the wall crash. The engine still running, spewing fuel as the car stopped, but miraculously, the snake was okay and into the arms of the safety safari. Working with me today, Brock Yates and Big Daddy Don Garlic. Don, you have unfortunately seen this kind of an incident from inside the cockpit on two occasions. Well, it wasn't quite as bad as the snakes. I didn't get over that guardrail like that, but I'll tell you, it's a terrifying experience when you go up straight into the sky like that and you got no control of the car. Right off the starting line, the front wheels were bouncing as the car struggled to get up on the tire. Suddenly, when it came off of the concrete pad, the clutch hooked up, and it was over. They call this a blowover in uh, hydroplane racing, and it uh, is very similar to the reaction aerodynamically that happens to a speedboat. Don, look how it just peeled the body panels off. Actually, that's good. That slows that blow over down just a little bit. On my car, the body didn't come off. It went over and hit much harder. Now, the wing struts were so strong, they prevented the car from going right down on the roll cage instead of roll over in the tires. And here, the rear tires, Don, are still spinning. The engine's under power. That's because he's got his foot braced against the throttle pedal. He's waiting for this tremendous impact. He knows it's going to hit something. And when it does, it is with such force that the chassis right here just up corny and that is chrome molly steel. The rear tire spinning against the rail, pulled the car over the rail into the grass. And again, Don Perdome survived unscathed, one of the most spectacular top fuel incidents ever. Somewhat shaken, yeah. Perdome was greeted by his family as Steve Evans was there. Don Perdome, wife Lynn, his daughter Donna. Don more concerned uh, with their feelings than his own. He's obviously okay. You're all right, Snake? Yeah, I'm all right, Steve. You race a whole career, 25 years, almost incident-free, and in one year, it just, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, I know. It just started to come up on me there, and it was, you know, picked him up a little bit and set him down, and then it really, really came up. I, I don't quite understand it right at the moment. Well, if you stay between the walls, that's one thing, but when it went over the rail, that's when you frightened us, and I'm sure yourself as well. Yeah, I didn't know where I was at, obviously. I mean, I, I thought, oh, no, you know, I grabbed the brake and tried to stop it and everything, but it was just too late. It just went, went over center, and it was over with. This was the third of three major crashes Perdome experienced in the past year. The first came in December 89 at Bakersfield, California, when a brand new car during a test was destroyed in a very similar crash, a blowover that uh, fortunately Perdome was able to walk away from uninjured. Then another crash, a major engine fire in Dallas, Texas, destroyed that automobile. Now back at Montreal as the crew cleared away the wreckage, Steve Evans asked him if this would affect his top fuel plans. Not really, Steve. Uh, you know, I made a commitment to, uh, to do this, and uh, uh, it was just something that happened. It's just like any race car accident, you know, you, you have to evaluate what went on and uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. What's your family saying, Lynn, Donna? Well, you know, it's rough on them. That's, that's the problem with a situation like this. They're here, they see it all, and uh, it's tough, but, you know, it's, I'm sure, uh, Foyt, Mario, all those guys, uh, their family's been there, too, and they've been in accidents. It's just, it's just part of the job, you know, unfortunately, uh, these things happen.